I'm Ryan Hurst, owner of Media Ace Marketing, your SEO and marketing ace. Have you ever wondered why your law firm's website isn't getting the traffic or ranking you hope for on Google? Well, the devil is often in the details. And in this case, that devil is called SEO search engine optimization. Now, before you sigh and think not another technical term, let's break it down. SEO is simply the art and a little bit of science, if we're honest, of making your website appealing to search engines. Here's the kicker. A lot of law firms are making some common SEO mistakes that keep their digital parties pretty empty. Don't worry, we've been there. In fact, that's what we're here to talk about today. In this discussion, we're gonna dive into the top seven SEO mistakes that law firms often make. Mistake number one, neglecting your Google business profile. Picture this, your Google business profile is the digital counterpart of the most opulent, eye-catching law firm, Office Building. It attracts attention, piques curiosity, and most importantly, serves as an entryway to your vast expertise. You're not just enhancing your profile, you're crafting a powerful strategy that strengthens your SEO, drawing clients directly to you. I believe that crafting an effective digital marketing strategy is like building a solid legal case. Understanding your audience. This is similar to jury selection in a trial. You must know who your audience is in order to effectively tailor your message. Just like an attorney who considers the demographics and attitudes of potential jurors, you must understand who your target market is. Gather evidence. In the same way that a lawyer would gather evidence to support their case, you need to gather data to support your marketing strategy. This could be consumer behavior, market research, or feedback from clients. Build a compelling argument. A lawyer in a court needs to be able to make a compelling argument to persuade the jury. Similarly, your marketing message need to be, needs to be persuasive and clearly convey the benefits of your product or service. Cross-examine. In a trial, the opposing counsel will try to pick holes in your case. Think of competitors in the marketplace in the same way. Always be aware of what they're doing and be prepared to respond. Closing arguments. The closing argument in a trial is the attorney's last chance to persuade the jury. It's similar to the call to action on your marketing. It should be compelling and drive your audience to take the desired action. Verdict. In a trial, the verdict is the final decision. In marketing, the verdict is whether or not your campaign was successful. Just as a lawyer would review the results of a trial, you need to review your marketing campaign's results to learn from successes and failures. Remember, the key to winning a case or succeeding in marketing is preparation and execution. By understanding your audience, building a compelling case, staying ahead of the competition, crafting a strong call to action, and learning from each campaign, you'll be on your way to success. Just as your Google business profile serves as your digital courtroom, a place to flaunt your expertise, engage with your audience, and forge a formidable reputation, your website acts as your firm's digital headquarters. It's where your potential clients will delve deeper into your practice, gauging whether you're the right fit for their legal needs. In essence, your Google business profile sets the stage, attracting attention and sparking interest, but it's your website that provides the substance, establishing your firm's EAT, expertise, authority, and trustworthiness online. Mistake number two, not using the right key words. Think of keywords as the key witnesses in your court case. Without them, the jury, in this case, search engines and potential clients might find it challenging to understand the relevance and value of your website in response to a search query. Using the right keywords consistently and naturally across your online presence is much like having a strong lineup of reliable witnesses ready to vouch for your case. A law firm might opt for overly technical or industry-specific keywords. This would be like a key witness using legal jargon that flies over the jury's head. They may have given a testimony, but if the jury can't understand it, it won't impact the case's outcome. Finally, 
keyword stuffing is like a witness who keeps repeating the same point. It's irritating and detracts from the narrative you're trying to build. Search engines, much like a discerning jury, frown upon this practice and might penalize you for it. Here's a winning strategy, a blueprint for effective keyword research and usage. First, equip yourself with the right tools. Leverage keyword research tools like Google Keyword Planner or SEM Rush to identify popular and relevant keywords. They're like your legal research tools. Bring in special witnesses. Don't shy away from long tail keywords. These are like special witnesses providing detailed insights that more general witnesses keywords can offer. Present a coherent testimony. While keywords are crucial, remember you're writing for people first, search engines second. Integrate keywords naturally into your content so they enhance rather than dispute the reading experience. Mistake number three, ignoring the verdict of poor website design. Just like how an attorney would, wouldn't present a poorly organized case, you shouldn't underestimate your SEO efforts with a subpar website design. Your website is the courthouse of your digital presence, where the impressions of your personal, of your potential clients are won or lost. Therefore, it's crucial to ensure your website is well-designed, user-friendly, and optimized for SEO. Here are four ways how website design can impact your SEO. Number one, user experience or UX. Consider your website as a legal document. If it's disorganized or hard to navigate, the judge, or in this case, your visitor, will be far from pleased. A website with a design that keeps user experience in mind encourages longer visits and higher interaction levels. This not only leaves your potential clients satisfied, but also enhances your SEO performance by reducing bounce rates. Make sure to exhibit clear contact information prominently on your site. Embedding a Google map and linking your Google business profile can serve as the notarized document strengthening your online presence and reinforcing your local SEO. Consider the convenience of contacting you directly from your website as a persuasive argument that swings the case in your favor. Number two, page loading speed. In this digital era, the judges or your site visitors won't wait for slow deliberations, or in our case, slow loading pages. A high bounce rate from an inpatient visitor leaving your site can serve as a decisive piece of evidence against you in the SEO courtroom, negatively impacting your rankings. Therefore, optimizing your website for speed is as crucial as preparing a watertight defense. Three, mobile friendliness. In today's world, a large part of your jury, i.e. your potential clients, are mobile users. If your website isn't optimized for mobile devices, you're essentially ignoring a major portion of your jury. This can negatively affect your site's SEO and user experience. It's imperative that you make your case or your websites accessible or your website accessible and appealing to the entire jury, regardless of the device they use. And four, site structure. The structure of your website is the foundation of your case in the digital courthouse. A strong foundation will hold the case together, making it easier for your visitors and search engines to navigate through the evidence or the pages of your site. In return, a well-structured website can help your SEO by enhancing user experience, reducing bounce rates, and making it easier for search engine bots to crawl and index your site. Mistake number four, underestimating the power of online reviews and inadequate review management. Stepping into the fourth common pitfall, we turn our focus to managing online reviews. A, fast, a facet of SEO strategy that is often underestimated and overlooked, especially within the legal realm. When we talk about online reviews, think of them as the character witnesses of the trial of public opinion providing firsthand accounts of their experiences with your firm. These testimonials are incredibly persuasive to potential clients, directly shaping their perceptions and decisions. 
With a solid 13% of Google's ranking factors attributed to the review signals, their importance can't be overstated. Most clients are more than willing to share their experience. If it's an easy and straightforward process, a direct link to your Google business profile or Yelp or any other platform where you're looking to gather reviews can be your first step. It's a bit like providing a witness with clear directions to the courtroom. No confusing detours, no lengthy procedures. The simpler the journey, the more likely they are to take the stand. There's also the innovative approach of encouraging clients to share their reviews directly with you before posting them online. It's a bit like having a pre-trial interview with your witness to ensure they're prepared and don't unintentionally disclose any sensitive information. This approach maintains the sanctity of client confidentiality while still benefiting from their valuable feedback. Link building is a key element of your firm's online presence. Like the critical pieces of evidence in a case, your website's link profile needs to be strong and convincing, capable of drawing in and impressing the jury. In this case, search engine algorithms and potential clients. From strengthening the connection between internal pages to showcasing endorsements from reputable external sources, the links associated with your site build a compelling case for your firm's relevance, authority, and value. We'll also venture into the realm of press releases, a powerful tool much like a high-profile witness that adds significant credibility to your case. By leveraging media coverage, we create a strong narrative around your firm's accomplishments and services. Mistake number five, overlooking the potential of a strong link profile. In the courtroom, the strength of your argument hinges on your evidence. A key piece of this evidence in the world of SEO is link building which accounts for a substantial 13% of the Google ranking factor. Common blunder law firms make is going for quantity over quality. A classic case of bad witnesses, much like a court in a court where a single credible witness can trump a dozen questionable ones, in the realm of SEO, one high quality link outweighs numerous low quality links. This principle holds true for both external and internal links. External links are like expert witnesses. They bring a third-party validation to your argument. We help you procure these links from authoritative, relevant sources, including industry directories, respected news platforms, or even local charities you may have partnered with. Internal links, on the other hand, play the role of your argument's logic. They connect the dots creating a cohesive narrative for both your client and Google. By smartly interlinking related pages within your site, we create a seamless user experience, all while giving Google a clear roadmap of your site's content. We help you gain links from authoritative industry players, securing links, listings in reputable directories, and unlock opportunities for content sharing and promotion. We understand that time is your most valuable asset. As your SEO ally, we take the reins of your link building efforts, allowing you to concentrate on your cases. Trust us to build a solid link profile for your firm. Mistake number six, underestimating social media's power. Imagine yourself in the heat of a high stakes court case. Now consider, what if a powerful yet overlooked piece of evidence lay in the heart of the bustling town square? in everyday conversations between its inhabitants. This is essentially the role of social media in the SEO court. So why would this evidence be considered crucial? Consider this. About 3.8 billion people are active on social media. This digital gathering place is the town square, where ideas are exchanged, opinions formed, and reputations established. In this grand scheme of things, your law firm is walking around the square, engaging with the public and building its reputation. Sadly, many attorneys absorbed in the intricacies of the law fail to harness this power. They stumble upon pitfalls like using excessively complex legal jargon, being inconsistent in posting, or using the same language across all platforms. This approach is similar to holding court discussions in the middle of town square, expecting the average person to understand and engage. Being fluent in the language of each platform is paramount. 
This means understanding that LinkedIn favors professional discussions, Instagram thrives on captivating images, and Twitter values concise, impactful messages. Effectively utilizing these platforms is similar to how an attorney would leverage their expertise in different legal arenas. Think about it. Isn't that what attorneys do for their clients? Translate the complex language of the law into simple, understandable advice? Consistently in posting is much like establishing your regular presence in the town square. By maintaining a constant presence, you are always part of the conversation creating trust and familiarity. Just as a seasoned litigator guides their client through a labyrinth of legal processes, we will guide your firm through the nuances of SEO and social media. Our services include enhancing your social media presence on platforms like LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We tailor each strategy to fit your firm, your audience, and the specific platform, thereby boosting your brand's visibility and audience engagement. Mistake number seven, overlooking citations. In the courthouse of SEO, imagine citations as notary republics. They certify your identity, validating, validating your credibility, and solidifying your standing in the eyes of the jury, which in this case are potential clients in Google's search algorithm. The importance of citations can be likened to the role of a notary in the legal proceedings. Without their stamp of approval on crucial documents, the authenticity of those documents could be questioned. In the digital world, citations play a similar role. They confirm the authenticity of your law firm, assuring both the audience and search algorithms that you are credible and trustworthy. Evil is in your hand. Let's call this court in the session and make a digital impact together. I'm Ryan Hurst with Media Ace Marketing.